All right, well, welcome to my first Clash of Clans video. Uh, I've been playing this game for, I don't know, six, seven years? Let's count my Christmas trees. So here's year one, and I don't remember what came after that. Maybe this white tree. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So about, for, for at least six Christmases, I've been playing this game. Um, as you can see, I'm waiting for troops. Uh, I have an attack I have to do. I, I have, I don't know how many attacks I have to do. Let's see. Um, I have three attacks left I have to make today. I have not gotten any three star. Oh, I did get one three star today. So I am going to show you guys that attack. Um... Uh, I guess I can show it now. Let's go to my attack log. You guys can watch that attack. It was a three-star attack. Um, so, I use four golems. And I forgot where I dropped them at. So, I'm going to pull the screen out. And we're going to... Oh, there we go. I used my uh, earthquake spells. I'm going to speed this up. You guys don't want to watch this whole thing in slow-mo. Oh, I guess I can't because the button's not going to let me. It's in the same spot as... Oh, there we go. So, we're going at double speed. Um, as you can see, I dropped my golems first. Uh, then my witches, then my heroes, then my um, boosted wizards. And... Um, I used my earthquake spells first, uh, and I must have held off on the jump spell till I thought I needed it. So this did end up being a three-star attack, which is great. Uh, I believe I did not have any clan troops, and the person I attacked did not have any clan troops, so I got lucky. That ended up being a three-star attack. Um, I'm going to play it again at uh, warp speed here if I can here. Nope, that's not working. That's not it. Uh, let's see. There's double the speed. Let me see, let's see if I can go to triple the speed. Nope. All right, well, whatever. We'll just watch it at double speed. So this did end up being a three-star attack. I got lucky. I only make about... Mm, Maybe five or six attacks a day. I can't do the full eight that's required for the uh, the league I'm in, the Legend League. But uh, you know, I still enjoy the game. Um, looking at this base, this wasn't completely maxed out, at least not with the walls. Uh, but like I said, I was still able to three star it, so that's a good thing. Um, okay. So let's go back to my home base. This is actually one I wanted to cover in this video. Um, this is kind of a base that has progressed over time. I've made small changes over the years. Uh, the main thing, I, I keep my clan castle uh, in the very middle. Um, and then I keep my town hall um, not in the middle. And I keep my town hall opposite from my uh, eagle artillery. I think that's kind of key. It makes it harder to get three stars when you separate those. And you really want your clan castle in the middle because that's where your troops obviously come out. And, uh, you know, um, the closer you have that to the middle, the harder it is for people to trigger those troops and pull them out. Although, um, once you reach, you know, probably even Town Hall 9 or 10, it's much harder for people to trigger your Town Hall troops. Um, but anyway, this is my base. Uh, I do pretty good with it. I don't have anyone three-star me, but maybe once every three days or once every four days with this base. Uh, so I think it's a good one. I also made it to where if somebody decides to destroy my uh, my clan castle um, with the earthquakes and the lightning spells, that uh, you know they're not going to get much damage beyond that they might be able to get this uh they might be able to get this one um inferno tower but pretty much everything else and they might be able to get one 
tornado trap. Uh, no, actually it's a trap. They won't get it. Uh, so they might be able to get uh, this Inferno Tower, and they might be able to get this Air Sweeper, but that's about it. Um, everything else is kind of too far away, and these, these hidden Teslas, obviously, they're not going to get hit. Um, so that's why I have that set up like that. Uh, and I keep my double bombs. I mean, most people that have been playing this game for a long time know to keep these big bombs. Uh, you know, you want at least two of them right next to each other. Uh, the other thing I try to do too is um, now the earthquake spells have gotten bigger. Their their radius has gotten bigger over time. Um, so these compartments, the whole compartment can be taken out. But when I first designed the space, I made large compartments, thinking that um, you know the earthquake spell was a little bit smaller and couldn't open up very large compartments. So you wanted to keep your compartments large. That way, if somebody targeted one of them, it, it wouldn't take them all out. But anyway, yep, that's the video, so uh, we'll see how that turns out.